Do we have any more? Ooh, whoa. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Oh God. Well, this is the first time this has ever happened. Oh boy. up y'all and welcome back to another one. Oh man almighty i have no idea what all we're gonna get into on this video i've been on the phone all night uh arranging my august honker hunt and uh we got family pictures tonight i look over well actually let, let, <laughs> i go out back to check on bodie i knew that he was out in pigeon loft and out by the ducks right yeah so um we're just gonna kick it off here. <laughs> the last time all my pigeons got out, y'all told me, hey, don't feed them for a while and they'll come right back in. So, thank goodness, accidentally, Bodie, he let them all out after about a day of not eating, a day and a half. I've, I usually feed them every two days. I put a bunch down and they have it cleaned up in about a day and a half, so they go a little bit without eating. So, right now they're hungry. And I figured I would whip up the camera and, and turn it on and bring you guys along with me. Hopefully, hopefully I'll throw some food down and they'll come rushing in. I'm going to film it. We're going to find out. <laughs> All right, special ingredients here. We're going to do some scratch grain. Uh, scratch grain, the pigeons really like. Uh, second, no, we don't need poultry food. Second, we need some of this right here. This is... This right here is wheat. This is straight wheat. I'm gonna throw a lot of that in there. Pigeons love the wheat. There we go. That is our recipe for today. When we let the pigeons out last time, I had a lot of people tell me, hey, don't shove them out, don't shove them out. I don't think that Bodie, quote, shoved them out. Okay, they're just hanging out. That looks good. I don't think he shoved them out. I think he opened the door and he was in there. He's really short. I don't think he shoved him, but oh, look at this. This is nice. Oh, hi there, pigeons. The ducks are hungry too. Look at this. Now, old Grizzy, he's sitting on the uh, door right there. He's going to be the first one to go get himself a bite. Look at this. We're all sitting up here. We got three sitting over there. I'm gonna throw food down. Whoa, 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 guy. There you go. Look, look. The Grizz, he's always the first one to the food. Guaranteed he comes right in. Oh, look. Here we go. We'll entice him a little bit. Come on. This is what you all told me to do. We're gonna throw a little bit in there. We're gonna let him hear it. Shake it, shake it. Oh, look. Grizz is in there. Oh, yeah. That's gonna work. Oh, yeah. Now, as long as these chickens stay out of here. Go on. Go on now. Go. Oh, look. There's another one. Get in there, pigeons. Oh, no. We got a baby out. That's a baby. Oh, look. Uh, not good. Oh, they're everywhere. And we got him still sitting up here. And then you got this chicken guarding the door. That's awesome. Dude, get out of here, man. See, this is the problem with having chickens, ducks, pigeons when they get out. Uh -huh. There we go. Now we got the chickens out. Go. This is actually really cool because I get to, you know, loft train them. But I just hope it goes good. I need to get out of the way. That's what I need to do. I'm going to show them the bucket again. Look, look guys. You want some? Over there. Come on. You want some? I know you do. Look, old Grizz. He's down here munching down. I told you, old Grizz. So now we're going to get way out of the way. This is me pigeon <laughs> loft training my pigeons. Hopefully it works. This is the second time they've all been out. <sighs> Bodie Allen. Go ahead. Go get in there. Come on. Let's go. All right, trick number one. Threw down some feed over here, away from the pigeon loft. Trying to keep the ducks and chickens away. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's three that we're gonna have in there. Three are in there. The others are thinking about it, but we got three back in there so far. I'm just gonna let them chill. I think I will, uh, I'll go chill myself. I'm gonna get out of here so they feel a little more comfortable. And hopefully they all return. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, I'll, looking good. We got one, two, three, four, and maybe five in there now. We have one, two, three, four sitting on top and then another one that is stuck in the back. All right, I didn't take long. We got them all right here. Check it out. Right here, we're all in there. We got three in here. So three, two babies. And then over here we have another two babies and two. So we're missing four, five, six, seven. We're missing three adults. Hopefully we'll get them three adults back here. I got food down, I got water available. We're gonna leave this open. See you guys here in a few. <laughs> Those stairs kick my butt every time. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, these ones right here. Y'all haven't been up here for a while. We recently, what was it? Three or four days ago, I reset the pigeon traps. We haven't had any luck yet, but I'm hoping we will today. Do we, do we? Yes, yes, sweet. All right, well, my uh, thinking worked. I switched my bait to straight corn, whole corn, and that's what did it. Heck yeah, we're back in business, boys. Woo! Smash the thumbs up button. It's been forever since we've trapped some pigeons. I uh, I went to whole corn because nothing else was working. I was like, okay, obviously I need something that's visible, that's bright. Look at it, got their attention. Let's get them out of here. Actually, I have a better idea. There's only three birds in here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna refill their water, make sure that they got plenty of water. And we're just gonna keep running this video, maybe for a few days. We're gonna keep the three in here, make sure they're fed, watered, put some new food in there as well for them. Just because this corn's been rained on maybe once. Whole deal of water, use them as bait birds and uh, see what we get. Let's make sure none of them are banded or anything crazy. Come here, dude. Nope, nope, nope. This is a really cool colored one. Check him out. He's a black, almost almost like grayish color. Oh my God, he's banded. That is one of... <laughs> oh my God, no way. This is one of Jordan's bands, 110%. So he had some birds get out on him. We knew that this was gonna happen. He had some birds get out on him. I thought I recognized that bird, that color. He had, I don't know, he was guessing maybe 15, 20 birds get out on him one day. And it was like only like two weeks, maybe three weeks ago. He was like, Bob, you need to keep them traps going because I guarantee you, you'll retrap him again. I've trapped this bird before on this roof, taking him to Jordan's loft. He got out. I knew it was going to happen eventually. I knew it. On my family, I am. I swear on everything. I don't usually say that, but I just want you guys to know how serious I am. Jordan was like, "I guarantee you, trap him again." Oh, that's wild. That is crazy. It's actually not crazy. I knew, we knew, Jordan said that that was gonna happen. Let's check these ones. Very well could be these ones banded as well and could be from Jordan's loft. Gotta check their legs. Come here, one of you, come here. I can't see your legs. I can't see your legs. This one, that one is not banded. Okay. This one. This one is not banded as well so only one is banded from jordan's loft now the reason i know it's from jordan's loft because yellow band and it has a number 30 on it jordan bought those yellow clip-on bands all yellow zero through 100 and um they're they're i mean he picked yellow only blah 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 guaranteed i guarantee that's cool guys 
that deserves a thumbs up. Please help me get this video to 2,000 likes. The pigeon videos, they haven't been doing great lately. I'm glad I decided to start this trap up again. I didn't have it going forever. I bet you that happens more than once. Uh, I just wanted to throw this out there. Jordan's house, his loft, his barn loft, you all know what I'm talking about. It is roughly, a guess would be, boy howdy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wildly guess six miles away. Six, maybe seven-ish, five to seven. I don't know, somewhere on there, maybe 10. I may, I could be way off. But that's just wild. It's not crazy. Pigeons home. That's what my pigeons did at home. They homed and now we can let them out of the loft. You know, it's really neat. Well, I just got a wild idea. Just took my thumbnail and I'm like, you know what? Since we're here, we have three birds in the trap. I can save the two and use them as bait birds in the trap, keep them fed and watered fine. But y'all know what he looks like now. Wonder if we could trap him three times. Number 30, yellow leg band's got a little white. That's probably poop on it, to be honest with you. You guys know what he looks like. He's that gray bird, black gray bird. No checks on him, not a blue bar. Number 030, that is a worn down band. Not worn down, but it's used. Y'all know what he looks like. Can we trap him three times? We'll see, we'll see. We're gonna check it daily. Next day. Oh, 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 oh. So first of all, it's really, really windy. I mean, really windy. Do we have any more? Ooh, whoa. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, oh God. Well, this is the first time this has ever happened. Oh boy. We have trapped a hawk. Oh boy. All right, so I've been warned about this. Uh, this is the first time this has ever happened to me. This is a red-tailed hawk. I can tell by its tail feathers what we're gonna do. I do not have leather gloves on, but if this other happens, look at that. He annihilated that pigeon, ate the head off of it. This is what sucks is I don't have, I don't have gloves, but the, what we wanna do is just release them as quickly as possible. Bad thing is, is these are very aggressive birds. Get out, buddy. Go on. Yep, there we go. Okay. Woo! Success. It's the first time that has ever happened. I did the right thing. Um, so, I accidentally, that's a complete accident. You can tell. The top's completely covered. He went in one of these side holes to get that bait bird in there. I'll be darn. Well, this, <laughs> this video just took a uh, crazy turn here. Oh my goodness, that's wild. Red tail hawk. So guys, let me uh, get some of my legal spiel out of the way here. Um, I've always knew that this was gonna happen at some point, especially either A, when you have live birds in your trap that you've trapped and you just haven't got out yet, or B, when you're using live bait birds like we did here. Um, that was very, very surprising to me. Very, very surprised here, my heart's racing. Uh, check it out though. That hawk, he had plenty of drink, plenty of food obviously. Oh man, that's haggard. First time that's ever happened. But we'll clean up the mess. Um, one thing, if it ever happens to you guys, do just like I did. Release them uh, as quickly and as painlessly as possible. I wish I would have had some gloves. Luckily, didn't need them. Luckily, it doesn't take much. You know, you pop this top off. See, this is what this is supposed to be for too. This is not only a shade barrier, but it protects the live birds in here. So falcons, hawks, especially red tail hawks, that's what we have a bunch of here in Kansas. They're everywhere. So they can't get to them. You know what I'm saying? But obviously that big old bird, that was a big old hawk. I mean, to fit through that hole. 
wild. That just shows you they're predators and they'll have their way. They will get where they want to go. Hi, is this Dave? It is. Hi, this is Bobby Guy. Hey, Bobby. How are you? We talked, I don't know, it's been a couple years now, probably. Yeah, yeah, it's just hell. <laughs> I have pigeon traps on buildings. I knew it was going to happen uh, at, at some point, but a red tail got in there. I, I've been checking them every day. I went up there and I released them immediately. Is that what, uh -huh. is that what you're supposed to do? I mean, just release them immediately. It's obviously an accident. Yeah, I mean, as long as you have permission, there's, um, you're not intending to to trap the the hawk. It's an in, incidental, Absolutely um, right. you know, uh, in 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 the course of doing what you're doing. So yeah, as long I don't know what the the state regulation is on trapping pigeons. To, right. To my knowledge, there isn't any. Right. Right. You um, just have to. All I've known is uh, you have to have permission on the property, and and, yeah, be, and, sure. and and obviously be as humane as possible to to live animals. But right, right. Um, yeah. So yeah, because pigeons aren't covered under like a migratory bird thing or anything like that. So right. right. Um, so, so yeah, if if you're trapping, if you do catch something, yeah, you just just have to. To, to release it. Okay, immediately release it. Don't don't play no games. Yeah. Right. Right on. Right on. Oh well. We're obviously back home. Back at the lodge. Look at her, boys and gals. Ceilings are all done. I don't know if I've shown you guys yet. Ceilings. All done. But yeah, my buddy Dave, he's one of the local wardens, and just like he said. As long as you quickly and safely release them, that's it. It's all an accident. He was like, let me guess, uh, when I turned the camera off, he was like, let me guess you had a pigeon uh, in the trap, and he went in there after it. I was like, oh, yeah, he had himself a, he tore the head off, had him a good meal and a drink of water all in there, and he laughed. So um, I want to uh, touch on a few things here, guys. I'm going to go through my spiel, and, I, and I'm going to bring this up a lot this season. The waterfowl season is on its way. And just like red-tailed hawks, waterfowl are protected. Even though we can go out and shoot them, they're protected. They're a federally owned bird, a, a migratory bird. Them being migratory, it's not like going out and shooting a pigeon or trapping a pigeon or shooting a starling. Much different and a lot more laws. Guys, what I'm getting at, I'm gonna talk a few things here. Do not disrespect game any game i don't care i don't care if it's a pigeon i don't care if it's a duck or goose a deer guys especially all my waterfowl hunters if you have a wounded bird immediately dispatch it ring its neck put the old plunger in the back of its head whatever you use whatever tactic immediately dispatch the bird i have seen way too many TikToks, and it really ticks me off <laughs> no pun intended um to see kids out there um, playing with wounded birds in the blind, making them talk, letting them walk around, giggling, recording it, uh, thinking it's funny. That's one thing. Another thing, if you have dead birds, let's not throw them around. Let's not hit each other in the head. Let's not uh, play games and then record that and put it all over social media. Don't do that with wild game, alive or dead. Don't do it. It looks bad, man, and it is bad. For one thing, it looks bad on us as hunters. YouTube, the YouTube, this YouTube channel is in great danger every single year that goes by to be out the door. Hunting is going like this. It's going down. Hunting won't exist one day, and I will, I'll, I'll keep saying that. Hunting will not exist one day. Now, it may be a hundred years from now. It might be a thousand, I bet you it's, I'm just saying. <laughs> It's gonna happen one day. It's gonna happen. Look at all the regulations, look at, it's gonna go by the wayside one day. So, as hunters, as conservationists, more importantly, we are out here to, to enjoy nature, but to be respectful of nature at all. Ooh. 
at all times. And I mean at all times. Another tip of advice, guys, if you're about to do something or shoot something and you don't know if it's legal, don't do it. Don't do it. If you don't know what species it is coming at you at your decoy spread, don't shoot it before you know what it is. Till season's coming up. And I can guarantee you there's going to be woodies mixed in. Uh, here in Kansas, there's always woodies mixed in. In, in Nebraska, there's a ton of woodies mixed in. Uh, northwest, uh, northwest of me, about two hours, it's nothing but spoonies in teal. So what I'm getting at, guys, before you do something illegal, think about what you're doing. Don't do it. If you don't know, don't. Be like, ah, I think it's legal. No, don't do it. <sighs> Spill over. No, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> now there are a couple things. Don't jump shoot a roost of honkers on water. Don't do that. Don't do You're going to kill over your limit. Don't shoot a pond that has, you know, two, three hundred ducks on it. You're going to shoot over your limit. Don't jump shoot a roost of specks. You're going to shoot over your limit. And not only that, you don't know what all is on that water. You know, at daybreak, you come up. Is it shooting, bo is it shooting time, boys? Yep, yep. Go! You're gonna do something illegal. Now, if it's just snows, and you do that for snow geese, for conservation, that's a little bit different, a little bit, but just be smart out there, guys. Come on, we gotta, we gotta use, we have to use our best common sense possible if we want to be able to go out there, um, take our game, take it home, clean it, and enjoy hunting. We have to, so. Now my spiel's over. But today was wild. I was not expecting a hawk to be in that trap. Thank you all for being here. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you have any video recommendations that you want me to do, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know, like ASAP. Smash a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. But be expecting these North Dakota honker hunts. Oh yeah, I don't know what day this video is going up, but North Dakota honker hunts are literally right around the corner, like in a few days at most. But thank y'all for being here. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.